What's up? How are you guys? Another week at Frankie's Syringe Meat. I didn't really feel up to making a vlog, but dealing with a lot of negative stuff, and uh, you guys know I've been over it, but uh, we, do, we do have a few new things and some stuff that I kind of needed to show you guys. And since my brain is fried, we'll, uh, we'll use the to-do list. Yeah, just like a lot of fake reviews, one-star reviews on Google, like these corporate chills that they hire to file chargebacks on my business, like threatening me with the better business, just a, a whole bunch of nonsense. Uh, maybe I should get you guys to start going to Costco, buying five hundred dollars worth of stuff, and then and then placing chargebacks. I bet you, I bet you the cops will be at your door the next day. For me, they just steal my money. Uh, we got all the glands back in stock on both organ supplements and the meat website. So whether you want like the freeze dried or the the frozen stuff, we got thyroid, pancreas, ovary. The male virility, everything is back in stock. We got a few things in the, uh, on the foods to show you guys as well, and the naturals. Yeah, you guys know all I do is work and sleep, basically. I don't have any anything I do outside of the business and YouTube and stuff. And it's one thing when it goes your way and you're hypothetically supposed to be making a lot of money and you're doing well. It's another thing when <laughs> you're not doing well, it's a lot of negative stuff, and it's all you have to do. So, uh, I'm getting tired of it at this point. Well, let's show you guys around. Just in here we got the organic apples and organic potatoes. These are on the foods website, guys, if you're unaware of this. We got the Honeycrisp apples, organic, glass bottle mineral water. Same with the potatoes, nice and convenient, don't have to do it yourself. On the foods, we have a few of the bars back in stock. Vanilla Best Bar, new and improved blueberry pemmican recipe. Let me know how you guys like that compared to the old one. We got the granola bar back in stock and uh, I think we're going to pack up the Rice crispy Bars too. So we got pretty much everything back in stock. The Quinoa Crisp too. Quinoa Crisp are up there back in stock. It's been a little while. So if you guys want any of the bars, FrankieStrangeFoods.com, we have everything. Over here on Oregon Supplements, we're still doing the Collagen Peptides giveaway. We have a lot of this, guys, so all orders over $40. You're going to get the free Collagen Peptides with your order. And we also have the uh, free sample pill. Uh, it's not going to be both. I mean, if you place an order that's like $70, you'll get both the free collagen and the free sample pool. But some of you guys are like trying to take advantage of me and place like $20 orders and get three free things, which is not going to fly. Yeah, so the male virility is back in stock as well as the thyroid support. This is the, uh, the best price online, guys, for any of these types of supplements. Most thyroid glandular is like this. It's going to be double to triple the price, like $70, $89. I think this is around $30. And the male virility, I'm pretty sure, is $25 again. Other companies, $60, $70. We have the most affordable and highest quality effective glandular products available online. On the naturals, we did restock the clay shampoo, three pounds of white clay. And we have the cavity cure concentrate back in stock as well. Very high amounts of magnesium, calcium, K2, D3. Yeah, unfortunately, the new naturals products is going to take quite a bit longer than I thought. So I don't even think we're going to have the sunscreen for this summer, which is like, I guess there's no point in getting it then. And uh, all the other products is probably going to take until like September or October by the time they get here. So it's whatever. We sent out about half the dairy today, Monday for you guys. We're going to send out the rest tomorrow, Tuesday when we get more ice in. We got the raw butter back in stock and the steak sauce this time. It's a little, a little thinner so it's easier to pour out of the bottle pretty sure we're sold out of the blood uh, but we're gonna restock some this week oh yeah i forgot to mention free pastrami this week that's our giveaway so every order guys is gonna get half a pound of our high quality 100 percent grass-fed made with organic spices smoked beef pastrami yeah i don't know when we'll do this again next but we made way too much pastrami. I wanted to make sure it doesn't go bad, so we did a bit of a giveaway this week. I think we still have some available, but we might have ran out. It was something like first 200 orders get free pastrami. And all of the, like Iberico ham and prosciutto, it's all sliced nice and thin now at the most affordable price online. Like, I mean, this has $25, but it's, it's like, I think it's 10 or 12 on the website. And to be able to try Iberico ham just to get some for that cheap of a price is, is unheard of. Like we have the best price online for this guys. We have the Belota, we have the Sebo ham, and then we have plenty of 
nicely, thinly sliced prosciutto. Uh, for the prosciutto, like $10 gets you enough that you probably can't even finish it in one sitting. We've got all our fresh eggs in this week. I think the duck eggs are still on sale. Okay, so let me switch over to my phone in the freezer and we'll see if, uh, see if I can show you guys everything I remember. Uh, seven degrees, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna have to see if that breaker tripped or if, uh, if it's in defrost. So, I'm gonna go out and do that real quick. Yo, I don't know what is wrong with, like, this reefer is not working again. How come every time my freezer has any semblance of an issue, I come out and check the reefer, and the reefer's at 80 degrees? Did they forget to fill up the gas? No, the tank's full. Yo, it just started fucking pouring. I am getting soaked. So the breaker did trip on that freezer and the whole thing's iced up, which means I'm going to have to go in that freezer and defrost these uh, evaporators. It's like 7 p.m. on a Monday, so I'm not having fun, but I got side of this shit. I'm already having like, I'm already about to throw in the towel, you know, so hopefully we'll get the ice off those evaporators and then uh, it should be running fine. You guys hear that? It's the rain on the roof of the warehouse. I got so wet being out there for 20 seconds. I might have to take this shirt off. Yeah, look. Holy shit. Completely pouring. I'm glad I just moved that forklift. Are my car windows open? God help me. Yeah, I don't really... I think this is enough ice to necessarily trip the breaker. I don't know why this is tripping. I think maybe he has to put it into frost and then, uh, and then hopefully it's okay tomorrow. Because the evaporator on that, that evaporator looks fine. I think it might actually be in defrost right now. Because uh, when I went outside to open it up, the breaker was tripped. But I feel the heat coming out of this. So it might have been in defrost too. I didn't check. I just ran inside because I was getting soaked. So let me spray the ice off this. And then I'll go check the defrost timer. And maybe we're actually fine. It's like a swamp out here. At this point. Look at all that water coming down. So, I'm guessing that's not good. It wasn't a frost. So each of these four uh, bings on here mean it's in the frost. So it should be leaving the frost now. This breaker was tripped, but I, I, I reset it and it's not tripped anymore. So we should be okay after I get the ice off those evaporators. I'm guessing that's not good. That's a lot of water. On the bright side, that reefer didn't fail while we had the meat in. It's only failed when we haven't had stuff in it. So much for that. That actually took like an hour and I just about got frostbite on my hands and face. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that unit is the newer one, but it's still old and the heaters went bad in one of the evaporators, which has more ice on it than the other one. The other one still has a little bit, but it's like two weeks out for that part. So we ordered the part, the guy's gonna fix it so I don't have to do that. But in the meantime, like, I mean, it was fine for a week. I didn't have to do that for about a week, but melting that ice up there is not, not fun. So I'm gonna warm up a little bit and then we'll go back in the, freezer to finish up the vlog. I tell myself almost every day, like, I must have thrown too many people off of a bridge in, uh, in another life because I am not having any fun in this one. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. See, 
one degree, a little better. All of the pork share items, guys, are on sale individually. So you could get ham, pork chops, whatever you like. Best price online for corn and soy free local Amish pork. Really high quality stuff, really special stuff, guys. I think it'll be gone in a week or two. Veal brains are back in stock too. Uh, we were sold out for maybe the better part of a week, but we always have these for you guys. I think the pet food is sold out. Like we restocked some, but then it almost immediately sold out. So, but we should have more on Friday. Yeah, this is all the duck. I'm not gonna look at this, uh, look at this too much today. Really beautiful dark colored duck breast. We got all the chicken in stock. All the duck organs, all the chicken organs, everything is in stock for the most part. Okay, so this is where my guys put the new glands. So we got a lot of thyroid back in stock. A lot of you guys asked for this because it's very popular amongst like people who had their thyroid removed or people on like thyroid medication. This is a very affordable way for people to get it. So we have a ton of thyroid glands in stock for you guys. We restocked the ovaries as well. And then the prostate we have in quarter pound portions. So if you order it, you're actually gonna get like half a pound for the price of a quarter pound because we have to go through the old one first. And I think up here is uh, the beef pancreas. So everything guys is in quarter pound portions. So we keep it nice and affordable. Uh, so you're gonna get half of a pancreas when you order this. So back in stock on the frozen gland, just to recap, thyroid, ovaries, prostate, pancreas, four glands back in stock. My guys just put some of the collagen broth in the freezer. It's not completely frozen yet, but you can see how it's jiggling, you know? 30 hour collagen bone broth. We're sold out of the lemon sorbet, but I will have some for you guys this week. I'll talk more about that in a bit. These are all of our other soups and stocks. So we have like plenty of the beef and barley stew, which is really delicious. Uh, this is our chicken stock. Over here we have the plain beef stew, beef and bone broth. Up here is the Vichy Soie, potato leek stew. You can have this cold for, uh, for summertime. And then over here is the plain chicken soup. We got some whole lambs and whole goat in here. Uh, might, might do some butchery, might not. Let me know if you guys are interested in buying like a whole lamb or a whole goat. They're probably gonna be like 300 to 350 each if you guys want it. Yeah, I'm not sure where my guys put it, but we also restocked the tri-tip. So it's separated by weight. So you want two, two and a half, three pound tri-tip, whatever you like. Uh, we have the lamb ribs back in stock as well. Uh, so j just a few restocks this week, nothing too crazy. Well, I guess, I guess the glandulars are pretty big restocks, but outside of the glandulars, uh, we only got a few things back. The tri-tip, lamb ribs, and I think last week was Wagyu sirloin steak. So if you guys have been waiting for stuff, definitely check out the website. You know, make sure you're signed up for the, for the newsletter every week because we do send out saying, hey, this is what's new, uh, this is what's restocked, and uh, any sale items as well. I'm excited for that new lemon sorbet because instead of honey as a sweetener, I use some honey, but I used a lot of flextrose, the natural organic glucose. So it's gonna be a lot better on the stomach. I think it's gonna be a really, really amazing product. I mean, that lemon sorbet, guys, was already like the only sorbet on the market made with like high quality natural spring water, mineral water, and all organic ingredients. So this next one is gonna be even like, you know, we critique the recipe a little bit. I think it's gonna be really, really special. And then um, I'm looking forward to, uh, well, let me put the camera down. Here. I'm really looking forward to a cotton candy grape sorbet that we're gonna do. I'm a little excited for that. So we're gonna get some really prohibitively expensive organic cotton candy grapes, make a sorbet out of that. I was thinking of doing apple, but I feel like an apple sorbet might not be that flavorful, but I don't know. We're, we're definitely gonna do the cotton candy grape sorbet this week. Maybe we'll do an apple sorbet too. Uh, moving forward, lime and orange, I'm not super 100% on those flavors. Um, but if you guys want it, maybe we can do it. Uh, maybe we can do those too. We should get, um, we're almost out of the Flextros, but I did order some more. So we should have some in two or three weeks. And then once we get the new shipment of Flextros in, uh, I'll be a little more comfortable because I'm trying to save it now just in case I need to make some more of the collagen crisp bars. Uh, before we get into the nonsense, um, 
I was also a little excited. I was thinking of making mortadella, which is uh, one of my favorite Italian deli meats, but it's very difficult to make. Uh, I was going to do it with like Iberico pork and just really, really high quality organic spices. But I'd have to buy like a buffalo chopper and to get the texture right is very difficult. I'm like, I'm like buying ice cube trays so I can freeze some spring water and, uh, and, and use that to cool down the meat while we chop it. So I, I kind of want to do homemade, homemade mortadella, but a lot of the other stuff that we've made that's very difficult to make, like it hasn't necessarily sold that great. Like we haven't been appreciated too much. So I'll put that on the back burner for now, but that would be really, really special to have high quality mortadella product. I'll definitely, probably not now for sure, because we got a, a few things, but uh, let's get into the nonsense. So as you guys know, like people filing chargebacks um, every week, people harassing me. Um, and I always say it, like if you guys have a problem with the order and you send me a picture as proof, instant refund, no issue. I'm going broke anyway. I have no problem giving you guys your money, but... Uh, one which was pretty funny, this guy ordered eggs on like a Wednesday, right? And we shipped it out immediately. And like a day or two later, FedEx said they lost the package. So this guy emails us, he's freaking out, he's trying to, he gets my personal cell phone number, he's trying to call me. I sent him an email, look, if, if the package doesn't arrive by the weekend, we'll send out a new one. This kid called me every second of every day for like two days straight. I have some voicemails we can listen to. Um... What was funny was he sent me an email. A reminder, since I heard your eyes are messed up. Feel better, by the way, smiley face. And he sent this, like, <laughs> this screenshot with, like, a giant red circle saying that damaged package, recommended action. Please contact your shipper for more information. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I heard your eyes are messed up. Feel better, by the way, winky face with a giant red circle on the picture. That was pretty funny. Then this guy sent me, he thinks I'm still in New York, so he sent me another email. Clown emoji. I'm a short drive away, you little punk. $100 buys you your piece back. <laughs> and then he sends another email. Better Business Bureau. As I'm sure you know, you already have an F rating from your past hustles on customers, but I'm in the middle of filing my own claim with them. Looking forward to your bankruptcy. Oh, and meeting you in person. <laughs> so this guy is clearly nuts. Um... There are a bunch of other emails I deleted from him, but we have plenty of voicemails to listen to. <laughs> Frankie, what kind of fucking business do you run? All I want is my refund. You can send it via email. It can take a week. It can take two weeks. Just give me some confirmation that you didn't rob me. I sent you the confirmation that FedEx broke my package or whatever got to me. I got more proof of it. I already sent three attachments proving it. And you hide in dunking and block a customer's number? A hundred dollars, bro. I don't know what, who you think I am. I'm not fucking rich. So give me my money back or contact me like a man. But stop blocking my... <laughs> He's like, over. roll the fuck up, man. Just let me know if I'm getting a refund or the fucking eggs. I don't care. But don't fucking block me because I will make it. I'll get paid, obviously. I think I was in my car Wednesday driving to New York. I think I was busy and this kid's trying to call me. Yo, Frankie. Shoot me an email. So I don't have to act like a fucking stalker for my hundred dollars. You might have every intention of giving me the money or another bunch of eggs that FedEx broke. I don't really care. But like your lack of communication is childish. I see that now that you're wide open on the internet and you're a coward and you shoot people. I'm getting really close to find out exactly. What I mean. <laughs> Guys, all the all these voicemails were after I sent him an email like, "Hey, wait a day or two, and we'll issue a refund or send out a new package." Are you hurting that bitch money? 
I got you really suffer in that bad. If you made bad poor choices in your life, that you can't pay a customer back. I am broke. You guys should you guys should play some mortars. Like, just remember, there's always a bigger, better wolf out there. I promise you, on it. I guarantee you. Here's another one. Frankie, fourteen forty-three first place. I'm getting closer. <laughs> He, he still thinks we're in the Bronx. He hasn't watched all my YouTube videos. There's about there's about ten more voicemails, but they're kind of short. Frankie, you realize you sent me a tracking number that proves that my item is damaged. That says the next step is to contact your shipper. You are the shipper. I don't care what normally happens. I was supposed to get that package today. The fact that I didn't get it today because it's damaged makes me pretty fucking sure I'm not getting it tomorrow, the day after. So therefore, you don't want a new package, but I prefer my money because I'm obviously not going to do business with you again. Stop playing games, Frankie. I am not going anywhere. I promise you that. And I live in New York, as I told you. Let me recap this, guys. I said, as I said a few minutes ago, this guy placed an order on, like, Wednesday for the eggs. We shipped them out, and, like, less than one day later, FedEx said they lost the package, which is unusual. You know, usually it takes a few days to know that. Hey, Frankie. Since you blocked me, I'm just going to leave a message again. Um, just a reminder, leave that refund. I'll call you about 75 times tomorrow. I'll remind you again. Thanks. <laughs> Frankie, do you think that if a doctor said that you needed his eye surgery because of the massive weight of the eyebrows weighing down on them all? <laughs> all right, get back to here before. Let's just a square, Frankie. <laughs> this guy doesn't watch my YouTube. He still thinks you're in the Bronx. Hey, this is uh, the doctor, the optometrist. Um, you owe us an invoice for hundred dollars, so pay up, Frankie. <laughs> Fuck you and your doctor's appointment, you cockeyed-looking bastard. Pay me my fucking money. I'll give you something to see doctor about. <laughs> oh my God! Look, dude, like this is actually funny. I like this. Like the regular harassment and chargebacks. I'm. At least this guy has a sense of humor. Bro, this is ridiculous. God help me. I'm just getting warmed up. Keep telling me to give you uh, the wrong number. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> I'm just not fucking playing with you, bro. I'm not the only person that's a Almost done. You have to change the number and your address. <laughs> Thank you. All sarcasm aside, as soon as I see my refund is being processed, I'll leave you alone. I'll delete all the bad reviews. I'll tell the other business bureau that you got back to me and everything's square. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not a bad guy. You know, if someone robbed you, I'm sure if you saw me on the street, you wouldn't take a hundred dollars out of my head. I'm positive that I've seen videos of you and I know who I am. So uh, I'm just going to get real with you once and I'm going to go back to fucking pull on her ass because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> not good enough, Frankie. Are you getting closer? I don't want the eggs, I want the money, but if you send me the, the pack of eggs today... <laughs> Alright, yeah. So, that that was that was what I was doing the, the previous half of last week. I actually turned my phone off for two days because this guy kept fucking calling me. But, um... Yeah, then I, then I, e I sent myself an email titled Duck Egg Dickhead. Um, so, first time customer... Guy said, he didn't say whether the duck eggs were bad or not, but um, I told you guys, like, if you get bad eggs, if they're rotten, if you crack them open and they're looking weird or smelling weird, just email us, send us a refund. This guy did not send me a picture or proof, and he was a first-time customer. So I basically, I said I'm not refunding the duck eggs, and I told him, like, five times, listen, if the eggs are bad, take a photo of them, tell me how many are bad, and I will issue a refund. You know, none, none of the other customers got full refunds for their duck eggs. They either got partial refunds or we sent some replacement eggs. So the, this one person has been emailing me like three times a day for the past week and a half trying to get a refund back, but it 
it's it's on the FAQ page, guys, and especially a lot of these first time customers, quote unquote, are just the hired corporate shills trying to steal money from me, trying to file chargebacks, which is why, and, and I don't think I'm that strict with the refund policy. Hey, if the product's bad, you send us a photo and we issue a refund. There's also been quite a few people sending me emails three or four weeks after the eggs and saying they've gone bad. Guys, put them put them in the fridge. Um, you know, if it's warm outside, if it's hot outside, the eggs should be kept in the fridge. So yeah, just I mean I mean the chargebacks are like continuing, guys. And and what's really hurting me is there's a, these people leave like one star reviews on Google, and I can't get those removed. Um, and it's just like really targeted harassment. Like sometimes one of the meat distributors I purchase from, they get like they get meat, uh, they supply meat to like grocery stores too. So sometimes. I'll get meat that has that grocery store branding on it, but it's still just like grass-fed beef, and I get a really good price on it. So I either give it away to you guys, or I sell it like half the price it should be, and I I really don't make much money on it. And then they order that product specifically and try to harass me for it, which is completely ridiculous. When right next to that option is is the local option for more money. But um, if if you guys can just leave a positive review on Google, that'll help out. Uh, and I don't know, I'm, I might have to just sue Google at this point because I would imagine people read the Google reviews and I lose customers and, and these are these are targeted and, and slanderous reviews because the, if they're purchasing a grass-fed steak on the website and that's what they receive and then they try to twist that into, that's that's slandering the business and that's, that's malicious intent of, because uh, the, the way these people look at me is like, oh, he, we could have the money to ourselves if Frank Tofano's out of business. If Frank Tofano didn't exist, we would have all his money and all his. That's all they care about. They don't care about uh, any anything else. Yeah. So so just uh, just a few things to touch on, guys. Uh, please try to place a larger order with the summer heat. Um, you know, there's gonna. I'm I'm sending out a small ice order fee, guys. If you're like, try to do 120 minimum, like 150 minimum if you're West Coast. That'll really help out a lot. Um, some people are trying to like take advantage of me like I was saying with the organ supplement stuff like guys if you order twenty dollars worth of stuff I'm not giving you fifty dollars worth of free product also like people on the foods website are trying to like order eggs with other stuff and save money on shipping guys I don't I don't have the time or the patience to fix all of these orders it, the eggs have to be ordered separately from other products they have to be I would lose money on the foods website you pay for shipping on the meat website. You don't pay for shipping for the eggs. If you guys make a mistake, okay, that's that's fine. But it's it's very. I'm doing everything myself, so it's it's very difficult for me to fix a problem if you guys don't adhere to what it says on the website. And a lot of the time, it it's like you guys will send me four, five, or six emails, and then it's really confusing. The I mentioned it in a short. I'm not sure if I said it in a video yet. If you guys want, and I'll maybe I'll say this at the beginning of the next vlog. If you guys want the macronutrient enzyme powder, I'm going to take some pre-orders for it. Honestly, like I'm, I'm not doing that well financially with everything that's been going on. And I kind of stretched myself too thin trying to do new products for you guys. Um, like I bought a few things at an auction that I was going to try to resell, but it's taken a while. Like I just, I made a few bad decisions from, uh, from like I spent a lot of money on products that are going to either take weeks or months to get here. So I'm not going to get my money back. So therefore I can't get more of the macronutrient enzyme supplement and I know it's something like a lot of you guys uh, it's been working and it's really effective so if you guys want it if we can get like 200 bottles pre-ordered I can do it if not um, I can't afford to because I have it's guys it's over ten thousand dollars for uh, a supplement to be manufactured and if that takes me it takes me two years to get my money back on that I just I'm not in a position where I can do that right now but it, I am the only person offering that blend of enzymes online and I know a lot of people need it so I'd I'd like to help you guys out and get it if we can. Yeah so kind of, kind of all over the place this week bunch of restocks so if, if you guys want to help me out if you've been waiting for some stuff hey please please place an order if you can I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point I, I said last week like I'm tired of asking you guys for help but uh, stuff keeps happening you know with the harassment the charge back stuff breaking it never seems to end so um, I've been like playing catch up and I haven't been able to to actually catch up at any point. Uh, we also restocked the whole tenderloin, the whole filet mignon tenderloin. 
So if you guys want that, it's available. Yeah, so let me just do a quick little recap of what's going on this week, guys. Free pastrami with all orders. If you place an order now, you, you might have a chance at getting it. Uh, we, maybe we'll just slice some more for you guys. The duck eggs are still on sale. We got a great price on duck eggs. Uh, trying to help the duck farmer out, keep everything fresh. All the glandulars are back in stock. So whether you want like the thyroid powder or the male virility from organ supplements or you want the frozen glandulars, the thyroid, the prostate, the pancreas, and the ovaries, we have all the glandulars back in stock. A lot of you guys have been emailing me about that. Hopefully you guys buy them so I can not, not go completely broke. Uh, we got the clay shampoo back on naturals. We got the cavity cure back on naturals. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be two or three months before we get uh, the new products uh, in stock, but I am excited to see those. Uh, I'm excited for when we get those. The meat restocks in general, veal brain, tri-tip, whole tenderloin, and lamb ribs. Uh, we're going to have some more restocks coming in this week soon as well. Um, you guys saw the whole lamb and whole goat. Let me know if you guys are interested in it. I don't really feel like cutting up whole lamb and goat. It's probably not worth my time or the money, but um, I, ha I have a feeling it would be pretty popular. I think a lot of halal people would probably want whole lambs or whole goats. So let me let me think about it. I gotta consider, you know, because I don't I don't think I'm gonna hire someone. I'd probably have to butcher it myself. It's not hard. It's just it's not quick either. Um, so if you guys are interested in whole lamb or whole goats like that leave me a comment down below we basically bring the whole lamb in cut all the cut it all up into portions and then send it out to you um and i was also thinking about mortadella but honestly with everything that's going on right now and all the stuff happening um i'm not sure uh if, if we should really be doing stuff like that right now but it would be it would be pretty special it would be pretty special yeah so uh so I guess that's everything for this week, guys. I'm going to go home and eat my 7, or well, by the time I get it ready, 8 o'clock lunch. If you guys can place an order, help me out, please do. And uh, I think I probably said it a few times over the past few vlogs, but I think, well, I did say it last week, like, a few more months, the weather cools down, we're in a better spot. I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay, but uh, just got to get through this little rough patch, and uh, we should be fine, but... If you guys go to frank you'll see the meat website, the foods website, uh, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Always, always a lot of new stuff, exciting stuff for you guys. Like we, we also restocked the cookie dough. I know I showed you we got all that ham sliced really thin, nice and delicious. Uh, always really new, high quality stuff for you guys. I'm looking forward to. We got some, some vegetables growing on the Amish farm. We're gonna have some more jarred vegetable products. Although you guys haven't been buying them, so I might just end up. Or losing more money uh, but I'm, I'm a little excited for that uh, maybe some really unique stuff coming uh, organ supplements I, we might do a few new things in the next few months too naturals as I said I'm really excited for the new naturals products it's just it's looking like September October for them to get here unfortunately um, and then uh, Wi-Fi shielding we got everything in stock guys we, we got a lot of you guys were emailing me about the large canopies we have the king and queen canopies in stock now and uh, I think that's all the businesses. So frank com to see everything, guys. Thanks for joining. I'll try to do. Uh, I'll try to do some more videos this week.